everybody, it's Brad at Converse Rubber Track Studio with another Geek Out. Today, I'm gonna show you how to use some toys that you probably have laying around in your studio. Guitar pedals, any kind of crazy outboard gear you might have um, with your digital audio workstation. This is a great way to add color to your tracks, to kind of separate sounds from just the generic plugins that you're getting in the box. Um, this is one of my favorite little effects to use on vocals. It's compressor pedal. So I'm gonna show you how to integrate this into your computer setup and then how to compensate for any delay you might get in the uh, conversion. So first, let's just plug this up. I've got this track here. This is My Midnight Heart. They're an artist that recorded at Rubber Tracks. Uh, it's a beautiful track. Beautiful vocal, <laughs> but I'm gonna mess it up a little bit. All right, first let's connect the device. Get your quarter inch cable, pick an output on your uh, interface. In this instance, I'm gonna use output number three. You can take that directly into your pedal. Let's go out of the pedal. You're gonna go into an input. Now, you can use a direct box, um, which will let you go into the mic input. This interface has a DI input, so I'm just going to go straight into it. So I'm going to go into the DI input 2. Okay, so here's what we need to do to bring this device into our session. Um, and the track that we're going to use, in this case, I'm going to use this lead vocal track. You just solo it so you can hear it. For a body sway to electric lights. And the First thing we need to do is get audio out of this track via the send. So go to your sends. You recall that I plugged into output three. I'm gonna choose analog three, output three. Um, click on this pre button. What that'll do is that'll allow you to send from that track, uh, whether the fader is up, down, whether it's muted. Uh, and that way we can just listen to the effect coming back. Speaking of coming back, we need to give it a track to come back to. So create a, a new audio track in your session. And be sure to assign it the input. In my case, that was input two. I went into the DI. And if you are using like a Digio 3, something like that, be sure you do assign it to the DI input. Uh, there's a switch at the top. So if I put this on input, I should now be able to hear this coming through the pedal. For a body uh, Gotta bring that level up, baby. For a body sway to electric lights. So there's both the tracks. Somewhere in the mines. Anytime you go in or out of your computer, you're going to encounter latency, which is a small delay that happens between converting from digital to analog and then back from analog to digital, which means that my affected track that I'm going to record now uh, is going to be slightly delayed from the original. Now I'll show you how to figure out what the latency is and how to compensate. Um, but first let's get a sound that we like. So uh, I'm going to mute the original and just listen to the effect that's coming back from this compressor and get a good setting on it. For a body sway to now it sounds pretty good. Lights, and the you adjust the, the input. In the mines, if you really crank it, you'll hear it start to clip. So bring it down someplace comfortable. Really get that vocal pumping. So there, that sounds good. Now, um, so here's our record track. Let's uh, label this vocal effects. Uh, this will be the track that we're recording to. And now, here is a little trick. Get rid of that send. Um, get a sample or a click or something maybe that's got a little attack. I like to use this snap. Put it on at the beginning of this track. This is the vocal track here, okay? This is the effect track. So I'm putting this little sample here, just a snap. And I'm going to use this later to line up my new track that I'll be recording. And be sure you start the recording before the sample, OK? Um, looks good, so let's record. 
for a body's way to a yeah, you, hear, you can hear the, uh, the delay again. Somewhere in the mines Beneath the sheets We saw like satellites So now let's compensate for that And the way we're going to do that Zoom way in here And this is the actual delay that's introduced Going in and out of the computer This is going to vary depending on your setup It's going to vary depending on what the buffer size you have set I've, I've actually set my buffer high So this delays quite a bit So that it's noticeable Just so I can For demonstrative purposes so what you want to do is you want to line this up with the original, this affected one. Zoom in here. This is why I use like to use something with a lot of attack because it's just really easy to see where it starts. That's probably right. Now, if we listen to both of these, they should be a for a body sway yeah, to totally electric sync. lights and the roll of the ocean There's the affected single, the signal mines, I would in this mix I would probably use this by itself But if you want you know you can mix in the the dry Mix the taste Sun up blinds will lead to seek a solace in the night. You and I. That's the trick. Um, you know, look through your collection, and you could do this with pedals, you could do this with like cheap mic pre's, a cassette deck, you know, anything that you can, you can run signal through and get it back into your computer um, and mess with your sound. Honestly, the sky's the limit. So uh, experiment at home. Have fun and uh, make great tracks.